I've been wanting to say this for some time. Welcome to Velcom. <laughs> hey. Most of us here today know the story a lot better than I do, in fact. Uh, and you've lived the dream. And you know, um, it's a dream that gold prospectors probably had in this area, I don't know how long ago, last century. And we ended up supplying 90% of the world's gold. And what we are celebrating here today and officially launching is really just as exciting as gold fever. Globally unique and totally South African. Great to have the farmers here uh, from this area. It's a welcome and thank you for being here. Then the terrible twins, Steph Morani and uh, Nick Mitchell, obtaining the uh, production rights for a dollar just six years ago. Then it turns out to be one of the richest helium deposits in the world, and uh, Uncle Sam's keen on it for national security, and uh, the US chips in with a loan of uh, $40 million. What does it sound like? It sounds like a cover story for the Daily Sun. <laughs> <laughs> or at least a lot of hot air or, or gas. But um, it really is just... Great to be here. Here's the CEO of Renogen, Stefano Marani, to tell us more about this truly remarkable development. Steph. First and foremost, an enormous welcome to everyone here today. Um, with us today, uh, we've got uh, we've got Golile Mbonambi from the DMR. He's chief of technical. We've got the CEO of the Petroleum Agency of South Africa, Lindiwe Mekwe along with her colleagues. Um, we've, got, uh, we've got the MEC for Economic Development in the region. Who Before I go too much further, I would like to call out three individuals in particular. I would like to ask Rob, Tabo, and Julia to please stand forward. These three individuals celebrated this month their long service award with the company for more than 10 years service in the company. And I think that that deserves a particularly large round of applause. In addition to that, I think it's not unique to these three individuals. I think it's unique to every single employee in the company. Everyone shares the exact same dream, the exact same vision, the same determination, and the same persever uh, perseverance. And to all of you, I really have to say thank you for entrusting me with the responsibility of standing here and, uh, and representing this company. For me, it's a massive honor, and my chest fills with, 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 with pride. So the company was founded 14 years ago. There was an industrious gent by the name of uh, Mr. Zietzman who figured that there was a lot of gas coming off the ground from the gold mines, and he decided to go out and take out a, uh, a prospecting right for gas in the area. This project, when you, when you consider all of the ups and the downs and the road that we've traveled, it's got all the mystery and intrigue you could, you could ever imagine. When we took over this project, and when the project really started coming into its own. Um, and, you know, Rob will be able to attest to this, Rob and Tabo. There, there was obviously a mention of helium, but helium was certainly not the main focus of this project. So what does this mean for phase one? Phase one is what we now consider to be our new pilot project. Obviously, behind you, you see our existing pilot project, which is a proof of concept. This pilot project, which we're starting now, is going to see the... Um, the liquefaction of the equivalent of 75,000 liters of diesel per day and the production of around 350 kilograms of helium per day. Now, 350 kilos doesn't sound like a lot, but to put that in context, it's about 1.5 times more than South Africa consumes. So it's not an insignificant amount either. That project will then see us move through um, from its, its, start, its start of operation, which will be in 2021, we will then oversee the development of phase two, and phase two is obviously linked to the drilling, which is currently going on as we speak. That will then pave the way for phase two, which at this stage we're anticipating five tons of helium per day, and that would be an order of magnitude of about 8% of the entire world's consumption, which would make us a particularly important helium hub globally. 
from an LNG perspective, it would be the equivalent of about a quarter of a million liters of diesel per day. It also has a massive positive benefit to the environment because we're going to be using the LNG to substitute for diesel in trucks. The other thing that's also really cool is that when the pilot project goes on, we will be displacing up to about 40 million kilograms of CO2 every year from the time that phase one goes live. From the time that phase two goes live, it could be anywhere in excess of two to 300 million kilograms of CO2 every single year that we're stopping going up into the atmosphere. From a local perspective, we're going to create a cumulative 400 jobs in the area over the next two years, which we think is going to have a massive improvement in the area. Um, it's been estimated that through the construction of the pipeline and the construction of the plant and facilities, we are going to have an impact of up to 11% um, addition to the GDP of the Machabeng municipality, which is obviously much needed at this time in this area. Now what we're looking to do is to try and capture the hearts and the minds of the South African community and our South African investors and, uh, and to move this project forward and really be the showcase that this project, which is so unique globally, just show the rest of the world what South Africa really can do when it puts its mind to it. But I really do thank all of you for coming down here, taking the time and putting the effort to share this special day with us. So a thank you to all of you. Thank you.